I just think that Jaleel White should have voiced Sonic and the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, or at least make made a cameo. How did you feel? How did you feel about the Sonic movie, Nicole? I was actually surprised that it wasn't terrible. Not to say that now, it was think- going to be, but you know, typically you know you go to a game movie. Oh, it was going, and half the time you think, okay, this is either going to be really bad or it's going to be so bad it's funny. But no, the Sonic movie was actually just a normal movie, and it was kind of refreshing to just have a regular movie that was about a video game character. Now, do you think that it would have been terrible if they would have stuck with the original animation? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Why are you over here even asking these questions, bro? Because I remember when I saw the original animation, I was just like, oh, it's okay. No, no I don't. The you're minute just I saw that, trap. I was like, what is this? Mm-hmm. What? Oh, no. Nobody was as furious as your boy over here, though. Trav and like, I thought it was okay. I couldn't believe like, it. It was real. There was nothing okay about it. It was <laughs> creepy looking. You want to talk about cut, getting a haircut and looking like a pedophile? Sonic. <laughs> oh. Sonic, bro. <laughs> No, you telling me say, that? I wouldn't say he looked like that, but yeah, it was. It, it wasn't good. It wasn't a good look. It, so, what if they would have replaced the original Sonic animation with Coda? Would you have appreciated <laughs> that more? <laughs> oh my god! Is that at me or base? <laughs> it's anybody. <laughs> How do y'all feel about it? Nothing. No, nah, we're just gonna pass. Why you even I don't ask? know why I mean, you would put Coda in the Sonic movie, but t- hey. that's because this is what he does. Hey, try <laughs> welcome, welcome to welcome to our conversation. With yeah, this welcome guy. to leveling up with Benjamin <laughs> <This> Banks. <guy. laughs> Trav, I think we wore him down this time. He just he's digging at Coda from yeah. well, okay, way well, out left field. You know what? You know what? Let's, I, I'll change the subject. Will that make you guys happy if I change the subject <laughs> to no, stop talking it, about Coda? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so Nicole, let oh, me ask you this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> hey, Trav. Nicole, let me ask you how, do you, me how do you feel about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? How do I uh, feel about who? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. How do you JoJo? feel about it? Are you a fan? Um, I've tried to get in it three times. Couldn't. And that's just that Thank on you. that. Thank you. Try Thank you. That's just that on that. Bro, <laughs> three times for me as well. You know what this dude tells me? Man, you should just watch these other parts. Like, no. Uh, hold on, now, what, now the three times that you tried to get into it, like, was it was it the original part one or like what part? I basically was it that you tried watched to get into? Uh, season one, season two. I kind of got to season three, and I was just like, I, I, I I'm gonna be real. I think I skimmed through a bit of two because I got to a point where I just was like, all right, look, get to it. What, what are we doing? And I just I couldn't get into it. I couldn't bring myself to care. About anything that was happening in that anime. Hey, Nicole, I just want to say thank you for joining us today on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we about to go ahead and wrap this thing oh. on. Up. You know, it, it was good. Hey, thanks for the artwork. And everything. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Hey, Nicole, thank, like, no, thank you for no being shame honest. No JoJo fans. I just, I, I couldn't get into it. It won't. It wasn't for me. At this point, I've come to the conclusion: any sort of OP fighting anime. Banks no. is just going to love and well, talk about it non stop. Yeah, they're OP. Dragon Ball Z. OP. Yu Yu Hakusho. No. Mm-hmm. I can't say they're OP. I wouldn't say Yu was OP. I can't think nobody in Attack on Titans OP. Aaron Outside Yeager. of the uh, Titans. What'd you say? Aaron Yeager. No. He's OP. Which McCall's OP? Uh, what's his name? Levi Ackerman. Both the Ackermans are OP. You can't be OP yeah. when you can't even. This. All right, never mind. All right, anyway. Yeah, I don't even know where he was trying to go with this, D. Do you? Nah, I'm saying every fighting anime where they have like serious OP over the top characters, you're all about it. Like that's your thing. But I don't understand. Like I just want y'all to give JoJo a chance. We have, bro. We no, don't you, like no, it. No, that's okay. No. He said, "Give JoJo." Yeah. A Banks, you'll get your you'll get your moment in the sun. We're gonna do a JoJo episode. There's no way we're not going to, and mm-hmm. we're gonna put all the cards on the table. And I want nothing else. Just leave Coda alone after that. I don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm trying to mm. think. Even because I've been on the My Hero Academia podcast uh, these last couple of weeks. And house call. We've talked about we've talked about Coda up there. Like he hasn't even made an appearance in any of the chapters. 
But see, they they appreciate my hatred for Cody. What does that have to see? How did it revert? I, just, back I was to trying this? to make a deal with him, and he just he can't do it. He you can't need, do it. He needs to go to anime AA meetings. Is this talking about <laughs> for Coda? Dang. For Coda, yes. Okay, so let's get back on track here. Let's talk more about Nicole. Oh yeah, and her fabulous let's artwork. <laughs> so what you doing? What you been up to? What's up with uh? Let let everybody know. I know, I know you be on Twitch. I know you live stream, you drawing stuff. I know you be playing a couple games. What is, uh, what is life at home like for you? Uh, well, at the moment, I am currently, I'm slowly getting more back in the drawing. I, for a while, I've been in kind of a rut. I've been trying to get out of it, but I'm, I feel myself slowly coming out of it. And I'm over here drawing like Bakugo and, 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 uh, Erica, or er, er, oh my gosh, I can't say her name Ura- right. <laughs> Uraka, Uraka, Uraka. Yeah, Uraka. And you drew uh, Uraka. You drew, I don't know how to say her name. Deku with cornrows. Too. Uravity, yeah. Uravity. We'll go with that. <laughs> I've been drawing her oh, and yeah. Mario because I'm shipping trash. But um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, beyond that, I'm either drawing, um, playing games. Pretty much everything you just named that I stream, and uh, yeah, bro, I had to stop playing that Fall Guys, man. That jank is the most triggering game. I, it's not trash. It's just that it I get triggered I, so why do you get triggered? easy. Like how I get triggered when it comes to Coda? Because I I don't do well with games where other people can affect how well you do in the game, and um, it just turns into a cluster, and I be getting mad, bro. I begin so. Have you thrown the controller? Tossed. Okay. <laughs> what, what's, if you don't mind me asking, what's triggering about it? What That's is what it? I'm saying. Yeah, so, like, a lot of the games, uh, you know, the first level, like, all you got to like, it's <clears throat> random games, right? So, a lot of the first levels is you got to run through doors or um, it's a cluster to run through like a uh, obstacle course or something. Mm. Yeah. But bro, people be falling and you tripping over them and shh, I, I think, can't stand a game where somebody else can affect how I'm playing the game, bro. Directly. Dude, yeah, just... I'd be so heated. So I can't even play the game anymore, bro. I'd be getting too triggered. Too uh, triggered. What about Among Us? What? Among Us. The hell is that? <laughs> It's it's another game. It's similar to Fall Guys, and everybody's been talking about it online. Oh, where it's know. like I think it's like six or seven people on the spaceship, and one of them is the imposter. It's like they're like an alien, and you have to figure out who the imposter is. Like if you catch them uh, killing somebody, then you could be like, "Yeah, I saw them kill this person. This person is the imposter." But now say say D is the imposter, right? And I'm like, "Yeah, I think D is the imposter," and everybody votes that D is the imposter. We throw him off the ship, but then like a message will come up and say, D wasn't the imposter. The imposter is still on the ship. You got to find out who the imposter is. What happens when it gets down to two people? I don't know. I've only seen videos. I need you uh, to. Yeah, I've never heard of this game, bro. I I mean, Mm -hmm. it's only $5. I've I've been thinking about getting it. Uh, Kendra, who who we had on the podcast before, like she was talking with me about it. She said it's a fun game. So it's uh, like a whodunit. Just like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 4. Where it's like everybody's trying to figure out who the murderer is. I mean, it's pretty much similar to that. So, Clue. Not less. But what? Clue. Yeah, just Clue. Not less, though. Not less. Yes. Just Clue. I think it's Yeah, more what like... you've been playing on the streams? I'm sorry? What you've been playing on the streams? Um, well, yeah, I have been playing a bit of Fall Guys, too. I think my least favorite Fall Guys uh, level is the one where it's like a seesaw. And it basically is determined whether you get across it by everyone else. Yeah. Keeping it level, but no one wants to keep it level. So we all keep rolling off of it. Yeah, that's a pain. Um, What else have I been streaming? Oh, I've been streaming a lot of uh, Risk of Rain 2. If, uh, if y'all are into roguelikes at all, I definitely recommend that game. Because it gets to a point where things get extremely chaotic with the amount of items you get. No, I've never even heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard no? of that either. And y'all should check it out. It's fun. 
I'll I'll probably check it out once you check out JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> I have checked out JoJo's Bizarre Adventure three times. I'm good. Oh, <laughs> okay. You checked it, you checked it out three you times. Did, but oh, you didn't on. watch good parts Lord. three, four, yeah. five, six. There's five, there's five parts. There's five parts to it. If you've only checked it out three times, then I'm gonna need you to all right, check banks. all of them out. Banks, that that hole you're digging is deep enough. Give me the shovel. <laughs> but no, but. Uh, 